Okay, in this uh, short video I want to show the high voltage switch I've made and the uh, automatic testing circuit. So this is the high voltage switch on breadboard. It has the, uh, the switches on the lower part. In the middle you find the load resistors and on the top you see the trigger circuit that I use. The circuit is supplied by my high voltage power supply which is at the moment set at about uh, 290 volts. It's connected via a high value resistor to this 10 microfarad capacitor on the board on the top and every time when the switch fires this capacitor is discharged into, the, into one of the load resistors which is at the moment slightly more than 2 kilo ohms. The circuit is triggered by my pulse generator over here and every time when the switch closes you see a pulse here on this rather beautiful memory scope. You see that at the moment the pulse is about 2 milliseconds and 290 volts uh, at about something like 150 milliamps which means that the instantaneous power is, uh, is about 45 watts which is quite something. What I will now do is I will increase the power supply voltage a bit to a little bit over 300 volts and what you see now is that the pulse disappears so what happens is, is that the over current circuit is triggered and the high voltage switch is switched off and what I will do now is I will modify the time base a little bit so that it moves to about 12 microseconds per division and here you see the pulse again, it is very short so as soon as the overcurrent is detected the circuit switches off uh, leaving only a very narrow and uh, small pulse. When I reduce the power supply voltage a little bit again to something below 300 volts we see the output pulse again and returning to the normal time based settings we see that uh, well, we see that the circuit survived the test without any uh, apparent damage.